Yesterday, I provided a quick update on specific ruling at the tribunal. This is the full analysis of the June 10, 2023 tribunal proceedings that begins with the Labour Party legal team bringing boxes of evidence into the tribunal session. Today, the court expects to start where it stopped the previous day with the playing of the video clips from Chinese television and the cross-examination and testimony of the staff of the station that was subpoenaed to the court. As I just referenced, I have a full video on some of what happened the previous day at the tribunal. You can watch by clicking on the link in the description below. Let's start by listing the counsel of the petitioners and respondents in this case, that is Bola Tinubu Kashim Shetima, the APC and of course INEC. Peter Obi and the Labour Party legal team is led by the indomitable Levi Uzoko. The APC legal team is led by Basharun SAN. Bola Tinubu Kashim Shetima legal team is led by Olujimi SAN. Okay, the tribunal started by ruling on the motion filed by Peter Obi and the Labour Party to question INEC on the technology they used to conduct the general elections. As I already reported in this video, the court denies the application. The reason they gave is that even though the application was filed at the right time during the pre-hearing, the judges should have been reminded to rule on it during that phase of the case. The tribunal said it was not their responsibility to remind petitioners to push for a hearing on the applications they filed. So, basically, they said the time to rule on this particular application is past the legal limit. Thus, it was dismissed. As I said in this other video, this is not a loss for Peter Obi, as many are claiming it to be. To me, it's a draw. I explained what I meant by that in this video. Check it out. The link is in the description below. Now, let's get into the case proper. Okutaba SAN asked the court for permission for the video clips entered into evidence the previous day to be played, and the tribunal agreed. This first video played is of INEC Chairman Professor Yakubo Mahmoud speaking on the process and the technology to be deployed for the general elections. On this note, let me once again reassure Nigerians that there is no going back on the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system BVAS for voter accreditation. There is no going back on the transmission of results on the INEC result viewing portal in real time on election day. I believe everyone remembers this solemn promise by the INEC chairman, but it was important for the judges to hear the chairman speak for himself to situate the seriousness of this reassurance to Nigerians and to the political parties as well, including Peter Obi. Professor Mahmoud promised Nigerians that the result will be uploaded from the polling units onto the IRA portal immediately the results were counted as prescribed by law. This was the template that Peter Obi and the other parties were working on. However, we all know that is not what happened. Well, as this video was playing, something strange took place. The Labour Party team asked that the video be stopped and that they move on to the next video. I'm assuming it's because they thought they have already established what they want to establish and that the judges have heard what they wanted them to hear. Nevertheless, the presiding judge says, no, he wanted to keep watching the video. He was watching intently and taking in everything. I believe this is a good sign for Peter Obi because the tribunal does not see this evidence as a frivolous one. This is the heart of the matter. Of course, the INEC chairman had to agree with the Labour Party that the video be stopped. Why not? Why would they want to hear the garbage they spilled to Nigerians again? But again, the judges insisted on watching everything. That tells you something very important. You might be wondering why the Labour Party team wanted to shorten the playing of the video in the first place. I believe they were only trying to save time for the other activities they've lined up for the day. But the judges said not to worry that they would give them time so the video was allowed to play. After the first video played, the second was played as well. Uh, we are confident that the, that the portal will not fail. Uh, but um, if we have any challenge whatsoever, uh, relating to the uploading of pulling unit level results, uh, the, the, the ICD department uh, knows what to do. So you heard that right. The INEC commissioner assured all of us that INEC technicians know exactly what to do in the case polling unit officers were not able to upload results onto the IRF portal. Basically, it means that there was a plan B as it ought to be for any major elections like this. So what exactly were they supposed to do? How were they supposed to ensure that the process was preserved? Clearly, they did not do any of that. And your guess is as good as mine. The reason can only be a deliberate sabotage by someone, some people, those who were just told 
know exactly what to do. How else are they going to explain the failure? The next video is about Vice Presidential Candidate Kashim Shetima announcement by Bola Tinubu. To win this election so that we can bring jobs, eliminate poverty, educate our children, bring up our grandchildren without thinking of religious division. Here we had another interesting drama. After a few minutes of the video playing, the Labour Party Council said they were done. But the APC Council jumped up and said, no, we want to finish watching it. This video must finish playing to the end, Honorable. Justice Bello agrees with him, saying to the Labour Party Council, you presented this flash drive in evidence and so we must watch it to the end. In case you are wondering why the APC is insisting on playing the video to the end, trust me, it's only a ruse. There is no legal benefit for them whatsoever, except of course to waste everybody's time. Basically, this particular evidence presented in this video is about the double nomination of Kashim Shetima, who was a senator nominee at the same time he was nominated by Bola Tinubu as the vice presidential candidate. If you remember, the Supreme Court recently ruled on this matter siding with Bola Tinubu. The reason they gave was that the PDP that brought the case to court did not have a local standing, basically meaning they did not have the right to bring the case to court given their level of involvement in the proceedings. But Peter Obi does have local standing, so let's wait and see how the judges are going to rule on this one. Now let's move on to the cross-examination of the Chinese TV staff that was subpoenaed to the tribunal by the Labour Party. The INA Council was the first to cross-examine the witness. He said, Mr. Lucky Witness, you must be very lucky. I don't have any questions for you today. Then it was the turn of Bola Tinubu's lawyer. He walked to the witness and asked, How are you? The witness replied, Fine, sir. He continued, Are you a reporter? Yes, I am. The witness turned out. You said in your statement that the cameraman of your company recorded this video? Yes, I did. So, where is he? Is the cameraman alive? Yes, he is, the witness said. Polatinubu's lawyer continued, And the people in the interview and the chairman of INEC are still alive? Yes, at this time, the witness answered. Now, if you are wondering why these strange questions, you are not alone. Is somebody hoping that someone was dead? Because if they happen to be dead, I'm sure they will not be able to provide evidence to the court. I just hope this is not a subtle message or warning to someone sitting somewhere. Why this is even stranger is that the APC legal counsel also stood up and essentially asked the same kind of questions about witness potentially dying or being alive. Anyways, after these weird exchanges, the Labour Party counsel asked for permission to continue to present the evidence to the tribunal. The process continued with the APC, of course, mostly opposing, but the tribunal allowed the documents to be entered into evidence as the Labour Party wanted. Well, that's it from me today. We will return next week for more updates from the court. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification icon for more videos from me if you have not already done so. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.